This past week, there has been a concentrated effort by law enforcement to round up dangerous fugitives. In all, they've arrested 53 people. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo was with a team in Cochise County where 19 of those arrests were made. Here's her Crime Tracker's report. Jayla has a warrant, Keone has a warrant, Kaylee has a warrant. It's the Arizona Wanted Violent Offender Task Force. Their mission to get violent criminals off the street. Probably some of the worst ones you can think of, you know, homicide, ag assault, um, child molesters, home invasion, things like that, drug crimes. Operation Southern Star is conducted annually. The U.S. Marshals partner with local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies to round up the worst of the worst. It's very beneficial. Um, small agencies like ours, uh, we don't have a dedicated task force that can go out and look for the individuals who do have warrants. There's several doctor's offices over here. There's multiple camps along this wash with multiple persons who all have felony warrants. We're out in the desert area. We're looking not just for one fugitive, but three very dangerous people. One of them has body armor and weapons. They're looking for Shayla Barrett, and so are the police canines. She's found living in a homeless camp. Barrett has a warrant out of Cochise County, and agents say she may even be facing a new charge, false reporting. Her dog, Dexter, is protective. Family members are called to pick him up. On to the next target, Kaylee Rooney. She has felony warrants for probation violation. The original charge, forgery and fraud. They track her down at a convenience store, where agents say while inside, she started to run but was quickly surrounded by police. Police say they also arrested her boyfriend, Keone Keller. He was arrested later in the evening. Police say he's known to have body armor and weapons. He has multiple drug charges and 13 counts of identity theft. He also has three felony warrants. We need to get him off the street. A lot of the, a lot of the warrants pertain to drugs or a, a violent crimes. So to protect the public, uh, getting these individuals off the streets is very beneficial to the city. In Sierra Vista, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.